reports of parents picketing at a school. So let's cross to Palisa now. Palisa, good morning. So where exactly are you and why are those parents uh, picketing? Well, we are at Fauna Primary School here in Bloemfontein, Sakina. We found parents picketing here from around 7 o'clock this morning. They want the principal suspended. They are accusing her of corruption and various other things. But to talk to us about this issue, what's going on here at Fauna Primary School, is one of the parents, Nkatemale Um, So thank you very much for talking to us. Just take us through the issues. You said that the principal is corrupt. She's doing things as she pleases. You also mentioned the issue of teachers that have been fired. Let's go through those issues. Um, thank you, uh, Mrs. Palisa. <clears throat> um, the issues, we have quite a numerous number of issues that we want to address as parents of uh, Fauna Primary School. Um, the first issue, which is the ground base of this whole picketing, is we want the principal to be suspended with immediate effect. Uh, pending investigation. Um, secondly, it's that um, children have came back from the holidays due to uh, COVID-19 and all the grades has been suppressed to come back to school. But unfortunately, there are some other uh, teachers who has been laid off without a valid reason. Um, I, I must say that those teachers are uh, members of the age, uh, uh, um, uh, appointees of the SGB and unfortunately uh, all of those 14 teachers has been laid off without without any reason uh, that is uh, the first the, the second point the third point is that um, it's the bus issues um, whereby there is a bus committee which was appointed to make suggestions and going forward to see the buses uh, being maneuvering in a rightful manner, but unfortunately, because of the principal autocratic uh, management style, she crushed the whole uh, idea, and the main aim of her is basically for uh, outsourcing the transportation for the children, uh, which is going to benefit her, not to mention personally, but in some uh, instance to benefit him. Um, the rest of the other issues I would uh, suggest or ask if possible that if the principal might be suspended, there can be an investigation. There's a number of people who can avail themselves uh, uh, to be, uh, 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 um, how do they call this? Uh, to be interviewed to okay, give their the points. Let's also talk about the issue of the cleaners that you're very worried that have also been um, fired. T tell us about that. Why are you concerned also about that? Yes, it's also a point. Point number one, due to COVID-19, they said the hygiene is the first most important part of the children. Uh, if, if they could have allowed us to go into the premises of the school, we could give you the proof as the media to see that precisely. How does the toilets uh, of the very foundation, the, 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 the very most important part of the foundation face, it's very filthy due to the fact that most of those employees has been expelled and they cannot be able to report to work. Thank you very much. Thank so you. that is the parent of one of the children here in Datemale Homotale. He's a parent, his child is at the school. Now what I can also just mention is that we spoke to a teacher anonymously on the sites who confirmed that there are about 14 teachers that have been fired. This teacher also said that they as teachers are quite worried about the workload. Obviously today the rest of the school is back. This is a fee-paying pay school. So unlike the non-fee-paying schools where um, learners will be faced in gradually, the various grades will be faced in gradually, here today at Fauna Primary School, all the children are back. And with 14 teachers having been laid off, out of a total of about 34, if I can remember well, um, it's going to be quite a heavy workload on the teachers like the teacher that we spoke to mentioned. We'll be speaking to the Department of Education later. They are currently um, doing the rounds at other schools to see how phasing in of schools is happening today, whether, you know, things are in place at other schools. But, you know, with that, it's back to you in studio. Oh, thank you so much, Palisa Moete at Fauna Primary there in Bloemfontein. And uh, no doubt keeping an eye on those developments, interesting developments this morning. And uh, there must be many more across the country, which SABC News will keep you informed about. We're going to take a quick break and then we'll take a few of your tweets before we end the show.